on to <clears throat> thanks for tuning into the channel it's your boy Devin Coates uh, day 42 uh, 48 days with the 48 laws you can pick up a copy of the book in the link in the description below it's an affiliate link so it would help me um, if you did pick it up from the link let me jump into this it's probably the last video that's gonna be shot in my house hopefully if I can get everything really done I'll shoot the rest of my dad's it's Christmas Eve, so I'm going to be traveling. But I really want to have this done for Christmas because I have some great ideas in store for uh, the new year. And I want to get cracking on that. So uh, Law 42, strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. The judgment, uh, trouble can often be traced to a single strong individual, the stir, the arrogant underling, the poisoner of goodwill. If you allow such people room to operate, others will succumb to their influence. Do not wait for uh, the troubles they cause to multiply. Do not try to negotiate with them. They are irredeemable. Neutralize their influence by isolating or banishing them. Strike at the source of the trouble and the sheep will scatter. So, um, off the rip. So this is basically saying, you know, it's the same kind of idea as like, um, you, 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 you attack the snake at the head. You cut the head off the snake. Um, cause that will kill like the rest. So, uh, the first observance, I might go into the second one, but the first one was very good. Um, around 600 BC in Athens, uh, they had a lot of like terrible, like dicta dictatorial kind of leaders uh, that were running the country and they got rid of them. But they wanted to find a way to kind of get rid of these people and cop stop this from happening. So they came up with this system because just torturing people in the brutal ways they handled things in the past, they're becoming more civilized. That was not going to fly. They came up with something that was called the Aust Ostracon. And maybe that's where ostracized comes from. It was called the Ostracon. And it basically every year, everybody would um, write down who they voted for Ostracon, which was basically a 10-year banishment from Athens. And this is such like a crazy idea. It's like Survivor, but in real life. Um, and they'd all put their votes in and be like a big festival for everybody to put their votes in. If anybody got 6,000 um, votes, they would be basically kicked off the island. They'd be voted off the island and ostracized for 10 years. Um, and if nobody got 6,000, whoever had the most would be ostracized and kicked out. So there was all these leaders like war heroes that, you know, the power got to their head and they became super arrogant. They get um, voted off and it was like leader after leader after leader but basically they, they they set up a system where there was never somebody that was in uh was ruling too long or got like too big of a head and wasn't supporting everybody's interests because everybody it was like everybody had a chance to vote this person out so everybody was kind of like looking across their back um to make sure that this was happening it went on for about 100 years i think and then uh there was a certain situation that happened that that stopped it but it really doesn't pertain as much to um the idea but uh you can kind of see this in anything i mean i know for example with i'm not too familiar with it in terms of like the the very minute details but um you could think, I know in, I'm from America, so the war on Iraq, and that's been going on for a very long time. And our whole idea was to, I guess, get these WM, the weapons of mass destruction, um, and stop Saddam Hussein. And we, we did, I guess, we were successful in the sense of uh, capturing Saddam Hussein. He, he was later, I think he was later killed. And basically, we've been in Iraq and we're trying to reform Iraq, but basically the whole country is in turmoil and it's still in turmoil to this day because once you attack the head, everything else, everybody's vying for power and everybody's trying to um, rise to the top and kind of take control and nobody really has control. And I don't know if really what we were looking for was successful because I think we just kind of were there for a long time, but it just kind of shows that when you attack the head, it kind of everybody else just kind of gets all messed up and doesn't know what to do. And it really comes from, uh, I mean, even if you look in the animal kingdom, uh, there always needs to be a leader. And um, when there isn't a leader, the, the like if you think about like baboons and stuff, they're going to kind of try to find a male to lead. And that is still the same process today so the second story um was kind of about trying to conquer a city and basically they 
there was two factions and one faction in particular that was stopping everything and they pulled the head out and then a new faction came over and dominated. So, um, uh, but going back to the animals, like think about lions. I think lions are a better example. Um, but I mean, it's the same with baboons. They do the same thing that if a new lion comes to a pride and attacks uh, and fights the other male and that new male, the intruder wins, all of, everything that was happening changes. They didn't have to attack all the other ones and, and the, the mothers would have protected their cubs um, from the new intruder had uh, they attacked the woman or tried to go directly after the child. But the first thing they're going to do is the male will fight and they'll fight and whoever wins, everything changes if the new guy wins. So all the babies either get killed or they got to run away. And then all the moms... Uh, the mother lions, they, they flock around this guy and then they have sex and they have his kids. Um, so striking the head changes everything because everybody's following that guy. And once that guy's taken out, they look for a new leader. I know I was watching another thing because I was talking about baboons um, where they were going. But the one baboon, the, the father baboon who was the leader, he got bit in the eye and he was and he was basically the leader telling them to move. He got bit in the eye by a snake. And he realized he couldn't lead, so he just walks off by himself, and then he just left the whole troop. And he actually did have a son, but they were showing how the baboons didn't really know what was happening, and they didn't know what to do. And then they just started looking at the, the other son, like, I need, we need to follow him. So realize that culture and the whole ideas, it's usually one person, everything can be stemmed down to one person that is um, affecting pretty much uh, everything and just really creating the culture and the idea. So this one kind of talks about like poisonous people and getting rid of poisonous people, which is important. But it's also if you're trying to take over or affect another person, attacking the head is the most effective thing because it's going to trickle down to everybody else, especially if they're captured or taken out of the picture because there's going to be nobody else to follow. And then everybody's going to be looking for the next person to follow. But if you are in an organization where maybe you are the head and it seems like there's somebody poisonous in there that's spewing out these things. And Grant Cardone talks about this all the time. He's like, I don't want people to quit because people who quit, they quit three months earlier because, and they just, three months later, they just had the balls to actually come up and tell you I quit. Um, but He's like, I want to fire them because I don't want them in spewing the doubt, the insecurity, negativity to the rest of the organization. But once you remove them, it can just inspire everything to be um, a lot more positive and things like that. So that's really was kind of mostly the focus of the book was like poisonous people. But I think that it also applies to corporations or things like that when you're trying to take over something else or countries. Uh, or like yeah, countries, if you're trying to attack another country, eliminating the leader um, really affects everything and, and changes a lot. The one reversal to it, I, I don't really think there's much else besides just this Machiavelli quote. And I, I do like this um, quote a lot. It says, any harm you do to a man should be done in such a way that you need not fear his revenge. So if you do attack the head, just make sure you did it in a way where they're not coming back. Like they either done for or um, you you put so much pain on them that they don't even want to mess with you again. So that's it for this one. Um, be on the lookout. I'm really, 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 really trying to work to get these last uh, six finished. So 43 through 48 and it's six because I got to still do 43 and 48. But um. Yeah, and be on the lookout for some more videos, and then next week, and then definitely starting in the new year, uh, I am really getting co very committed to starting this new posting schedule and um, putting more uh, consistency and more um, predictability to what I'm going to be posting. I know for the last 48 days, very, very predictable. I'm probably going to be posting something about the 48 days. 48 laws of power the 48 days with the 48 laws but i want to um i want to start having 
a, a very a, a more concrete vision. Now I'm a little bit around a year and a half into this YouTube thing. Uh, I got a new camera. I want to start getting that footage on here and start working on my editing. Um, and with the new year, I have some resolutions. So be on the lookout for those videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Be on the lookout for the ending of this series. It's going to be up forever. So watch it whenever you can. Um, it's your boy Devin Coates. Uh, thanks for tuning into the channel. And I know I didn't go day by day with this whole series, but I did add up all the days and I think the 26th would be exactly 48 days. So I have until the 26th to get everything finished. Um, and I'll still finish within the timeline. So I just really busted in like 18 chapters in the last four days or so. But thanks for tuning in. Peace out.